Today's problem is from binomial distribution and in today's video, so we have to find the probability of getting an even number 3 or 4 or 5 times in throwing 10 dice using binomial distribution. See here, the question is so simple that find the probability of getting an which number? An even number. How many times? For 3 times or 4 times or 5 times. 3 questions at a time. In throwing, how many dice? 10 dice. Here, n is equal to 10 using binomial distribution. See, in the solution here. So, on a die, how many numbers will be there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, total 6 numbers will be there on a die. And see here, the even numbers we want. We want the even numbers on a die. So, that is 2, 4 and 6. So, the probability of getting an even number when a die is thrown is, let P be the, see here. So, let P be the probability. Let P be the probability of getting an even number. probability of uh, even number of a die is see here p is equal to so there are three chances of getting even number out of six so if i cancel in three table so p value is equal to half i got p value is equal to half as you all know that the total probability the probability of getting an even number and probability of not getting an even number is always equals to 1. So, if I substitute half in place of P, then what will be the value of Q? Q is equal to, this is 1 minus half and again Q is equal to half. So, now I got the value of P as well as Q. So, the probability of getting an even number is half and the probability of not getting an even number is half. See, Find the probability of getting an even number for 3, 4 or 5 times. In throwing 10 dice, see here how many dice are there? Number of dice 10, therefore n is equal to 10. See here, number of dice 10, therefore here n value is equal to 10. So here getting an even number for 3 times or getting an even number for 4 times or getting an even number for 5 times is the question. 3 or 4 or 5. See, let's get started to solve this one. What is according to the binomial distribution? So, what is the formula? So, here n is equal to 10. P is equal to half and Q is equal to half. So, we have to use binomial distribution. According to the binomial distribution, we have a formula that probability of x is equal to r is equal to this is n c r p power r and this is q power n minus r and here so we need the probability of getting an even number for three times so here probability of getting an even number for three times when 10 dice are thrown so here r is equal to 10 so what is the value of n n is equal to 10 this will be 10 c 3 P is equal to half power 3 and this is again half power 10 minus 3 and this is the answer. This is 10 C3 1 by 2 cube and this is 1 by 2 power 7. 10 C3 means NCR is equal to N factorial by N minus R factorial into R factorial or else take 3 backward steps that is 10 into 9 into 8 by 3 friend steps 1 into 2 into 3 this is a shortcut and this is 1 by 2 cube plus 1 by 1 by 2 power 7 so total 1 by 2 power 10 so if i cancel this one 2 5 times and this in 3 times see here so this is nothing but 120 into so this value is 120 into 2 power 10 so, this is 120 into 2 power 10. So, this is 120 divided by 2 power 8. Sorry, 2 power 10. The value here is 0 0.1171875. So, 
this is the probability of getting an even number on a die when 10 dice are thrown for 3 times. So next question here is the probability of getting an even number for uh, how many times? 4 times. So here n is equal to 4. Again the formula is ncr p power r and this is q power n minus r. So here n value is equal to 10, 10 dice. P is equal to the probability of getting an even number. Q is probability of not getting an even number and here r is equal to 10. So if I substitute the form in the formula then this will be 10 c4 half power 4 and this is again half power 10 minus 4. So this will be 10 c4 this is half power 4 and this is half power 6. 10 c4 is nothing but 4 backward steps that is 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 by this value is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. This is half power 10. Now see if I cancel this 4 2 is 8 and this in 3 table. So this will be 30 into 7. So this will be 21. So 210 into this is 1 by 2 power 10. So see this will be the answer. This is 210 divided by 2 power 10. The value here is 0 0.20507825. So this is the probability of getting an even number, even number for 4 times when 10 dice are thrown. And see the next question here is the probability of getting an even number for 5 times. See here for 5 times. That is the probability of uh, getting even number for 5 times is here in C R. This is again P power R. This is again Q power N minus R. So if I substitute this is 5 backward steps that is 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 5 friend steps 3, 4, 5 this is half power 5 and this is half power 5 and see this is 2, 5 is a 10 and this in 3 table and this in 2 table so this is 3 into 2 into 7 into 6 and this is half power 10 so this is nothing but see here 36 into 7 252 into 1 by 2 power 10 this value is 252 divided by this is 2 power 10 the value here is this value is 0 0.24609375 so <clears throat> so this is the chance of getting an even number for 5 times. So, this is the value and this is also so simple if you follow these steps. And first of all, what is uh, asked in the question? So, it is asked that find the probability of getting an even number 3 or 4 or 5 times in throwing 10 dice. See here, the probability of getting an even number is 3 by 6 which is equal to half and Q is again half. Here, number of dice are 6. And the probability of getting an even number for 3 times is 0 0.1171 and for getting 4 times is 0 0.2050 and getting an even number for 5 times is 0 0.24609375 and this is how we have to solve thank you so much and this is it uh, uh, for today and tomorrow I'll be starting the poison distribution please have a look at those problems those are also very important and please pass it on to your friends if you really like this video and support this channel and subscribe to this channel thank you so much